Oh no, it looks like the beak of a bird. How sad. I am the lion, the king of beasts. Us lions travel in prides with sometimes as many as 37 lions. The females never leave the pride. They're much smaller and they hunt in groups. In general, they are far less independent than males. Leo, dinner, now. Coming, dear heart. I'm a zebra. I'm an herbivore. I eat plants. But that doesn't stop the carnivorous animals from trying to eat me. Luckily, my stripes confuse predators when they're running after me. A giving tree. The elephant is the largest living land mammal. Did you know that? Did you? We're a highly intelligent sort, which has gotten us nowhere, really. Only led to our being widely used in circuses. Sadly, we are an endangered species. Some humans are so fond of our ivory tusks that they feel the need to hunt and kill us for them. It's illegal, but poachers still continue to do it. Quirky creatures, those humans. I'm a rhinoceros, a strict vegetarian, believe it or not. Did you know three out of the five species of rhinos are now nearing extinction? Humans like to hunt us for our horns, which they believe have all sorts of magical powers. You can imagine how irritating we find this. The giraffe is the tallest animal in the world, sometimes growing to 18 feet. With a neck this long, you must be wondering about my tongue. <laughs> it's a foot and a half long, dearie. Read it and weep. Welcome to the Maasai Mara National Reserve, straddling Kenya and Tanzania. Here you can witness the annual wildebeest migration. Every year, about a million of us storm into the reserve here during the dry season. Many of us will become food for the lions and hyenas, but such is life. <laughs> I'm a hyena! Not the most likable fella you're gonna meet out here! <laughs> I'll eat anything dead, <laughs> alive, <laughs> unattended babies, what have you! <laughs> Hi there! I'm a cheetah! An endangered species, as it were. Cheetahs are the fastest living land animal on the planet! I can run about 68 miles an hour without breaking a sweat. See ya! Pink? Pink Panther? Is that you? I don't believe it! Look at this guy! Hey, fellas! Come meet my cousin! Looking good, looking good. I don't believe it, big Hollywood star, out here in the middle of the jungle. <laughs> Look at you, all pink. Still got your roar, eh? Oh, I don't know. It's been a while. I bet you don't have much use for it on your fancy TV show or your fancy pants interactive CD-ROM games. I love your work, by the way. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Come on. For all time's sake, get primeval for us, eh? Well... Maybe just one little one. He still got it! Maybe if I wiggle this hornbill at them, they'll think it's the husband bird and come out. Amazing! Spiritual! We would like very much to commemorate this event with a tattoo. I have the roots needed to make the stain. Now we just need something sharp to hook to a stick. An eel's tooth. Perfect. Here, take 
this as a token of our appreciation. Thanks. We must continue our wandering. Here, Hornbill. Here, little carrier of the human soul. I'm not gonna hurt ya. Try nesting in here, why don't ya? Swell job, friend. Here, take this for your troubles. Cheers. Oh, I'm only a cartoon character, I don't. Say, Flip, I'll trade you a bottle of this imported bubbly for your liver. Liver? You want my liver? Not your liver, your loose liver. Your spare. Oh, right. You've got a deal. Are you from the missionary? Enough is enough! All the worms that if the Maasai did not assimilate, they would surely become extinct! The Maasai are highly adaptable, just not to your ways. When need be, we stop herding to hunt. When need be, we stop hunting to plant. We support our communities and help each through emutai. Emutai? Emutai means the time of disasters. And my people have seen many, but none like the period in the 19th century, where drought, famine, and smallpox plagued our people. Rinderpest and bovine pleuronomonia devastated our cattle. The Maasai survived, despite it all, and continue to thrive today. So long as we have our cattle, all must be well. How is it that the Maasai have such a serious collection of cattle? It seems like every Maasai herds cattle. How did that come to be? Let them tell you! Sing it, guys!
the first sign was a man they called Masinta and got spoken to Masinta and said he'd send him down some cows send him some cows God told Masinta build a cattle enclosure that's the thing we call a crown and before you know it God told Masinta there'll be cattle on the ground a man they called Masinta and God spoken to Masinta and said he'd send him down some cows send him some cows now Masinta thanked God in advance and asked him what in return he'd seek and God told Masinta hey it's all my house God also warned Masinta of one other thing. He said, Don't make a sound or a peek. Cattle streamed down right from the sky. It was the strangest thing to see. A nearby hunter let loose a big cry. Masinta thought, I hope God don't think that was me. Now the myth is not the only reason Maasai herd cattle. It makes sense ecologically too. For moving around, seeking water and fresh food keeps nomad people healthy too. I am a man today, fully initiated into manhood. That is why my head is shaved and dipped in red ochre. Soon I will be able to marry. Congratulations in advance. Today should be a joyful day, but my cattle are thirsty and I must lead them to water. They are very hungry and I must lead them to pasture. But my wife has just had a baby, and that should be celebrated with blood and meat. But I cannot inflict such needs on my weakened cattle. Surely one of my neighbors would donate a bull to slaughter. But everyone is off in more fertile lands. Why not serve up a goat or a sheep? Those animals are eaten every day. On the day of the precious birth, a sacred cattle should be eaten, or even a part of a sacred cattle. Maybe you could donate something. Maybe I can find something. Is this liver from a steer? Thank you. Now I can celebrate my child's birth without weakening my cattle. Soon we will leave to better pastures. Hey, honey, the pink panther brought us a big hunk of liver. He is so thoughtful. Thank you again. I saw what a nice thing you did. So why do you look so sad? A very young girl has fallen ill. She can't wake up. This is a terrible tragedy. Children are the bright moon. May I suggest a chant? Olapa, Oibor, Inkera. What does it mean? Children are the bright moon. Oh. Perhaps if you plead these words to the red god, he will show mercy. You see, there are two gods, the black god and the red god. The red god is malicious, and the black god is good. The black god lives close to man, and the red god lives above him. You're a redhead in a sense. You just taught me a plea, sort of. What was it again? Well, it's not really a plea. It's more of an old Maasai proverb. Trust me, by the time I get done with it, it'll be a plea. What was it? Olapa Oibor Inkera. Olapa Oibor Inkera. Olapa Oibor Inkera. Thanks, you've helped more than you know.
I got that woeful chant from a redhead, literally. Good. All you need now is the carrier of the human soul, whatever that means. A feather from the soul carrier, for good measure. Hola, well, keep chanting, and you, keep dancing. Why isn't this working? Don't you have to say some magic spell or something? Squally sicky some girls, belly wickled others, casty magic boopsie bop. Open up them shutters! It, it, it's hard to explain. All the while, I felt like there was some mysterious and magical force helping me along. I'm on my own, and I can't make the magic happen. You've got to keep trying, Nathan, for Violet's sake. I can't. I'm no good. <laughs> I don't think the potion's potency is perfect, partner. I might need some vegetables to make this a complete, well-balanced spell. I don't think the potion's potency is perfect, partner. I might need some vegetables to make this a complete, well-balanced spell. You handsome devil! Looks like mom's cooking. Yuck. Hi, Violet. Enjoy your nap? 